Hey guys, I wanted to do a follow-up on a segment that I had done where, uh, in which I had stated that a, uh, can you be the public adjuster on the same claim that you are the contractor? And my answer was no. So I had some feedback on that, which you know, I usually get that. So I wanted to just go through the insurance code that relates to those two things. You don't have to take my word for it. You can just Google it and read it if you want. But it's the insurance code, the Texas insurance code, it's a statute. And there are regulations that uh, relate to professionals. 4101 relates to public, I mean, insurance adjusters. 4102 relates to public adjusters. In the 4101 for insurance adjusters, the language still says roofing related business. They changed it a couple of years ago on the 4102 public adjusters. It used to say roofing uh, uh, business, roofing, you know, related business as well, but they changed it. The, the statute got changed. Uh, to be contractor. So in the um, in the uh, ch subchapter F prohibited conduct section 4101.251 under certain roofing related business prohibited. So this is for adjusters, insurance adjusters. It says an insurance adjuster licensed under the chapter may not adjust a loss related to roofing damage on behalf of an insurer, so the insurance company, if the adjuster is a roofing contractor or otherwise provides roofing services or roofing products for compensation or is a controlling person in the roofing related business. Now that says you can't adjust, it says you can't adjust and be the roofer, but I really think what it means is you can't adjust the loss that you are intending to replace that roof. Then B says a roofing contractor may not act as an adjuster or advertise to adjust claims for any property for which the contractor is providing or may provide roofing services regardless of whether the contractor holds a license under that chapter. That to me says that if you're, you know, I, there are some roofing companies where they say I used to be an insurance adjuster and maybe they still have their license. So they're saying you can't go, well, I'm a roofing, I'm, a, I'm an insurance adjuster, so I'm going to adjust your claim with your adjuster. You can't do that either and you can't advertise or say that you're going to. You're either a roofer or you're an insurance adjuster on that claim. So um, under the Title 13 regulations of professionals for the public adjusters, which is 4102, it says uh, section 4102.163, certain contractor business prohibited. Used to say roofer, now it says contractor. It says a contractor may not act as a public adjuster or advertise to adjust claims for any property for which the contractor is providing or may provide contracting services, regardless of whether that contractor holds a license or is authorized to act on behalf of an insured under a power of attorney or other agreement. So this contingency is effectively it's a power of attorney because somebody's given you permission to act on their behalf on your insurance claim. This says you are not authorized to act on behalf of an insured under a power of attorney or other agreement if you're a contractor. And remember, if you're the public adjuster, you're not the contractor. Like you can own a contracting business, you can't public, you can't adjust as a public adjuster the same loss or claim that you are uh, going to repair. And then the third one is that the insurance commissioner has the right to do whatever rules it wants to enforce it, and that is the Class B misdemeanor. They don't attach that, I don't believe, to insurance adjusters, but they attach it to public adjusters. So I just wanted to put that out there. You can Google it. Again, it's the Texas Insurance Code, 4101 for adjusters and 4102 for public adjusters. Stay safe and be prepared.